What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Stocks to Watch and we had a lot of action from a lot of stocks uh, that we had discussed yesterday in the watch list. So quickly let's get started. So I'll start with NCC. So this is the stocks that we discussed yesterday and if you're someone who's new, uh, consider subscribing and liking the content if you appreciate uh, the value that I bring to the table. Now NCC was basing really nicely, you know, popped about 8% for the day. Godfrey Phillips again, uh, you know, similar structure popping up 8% for the day. Uh, we also, I also told you that I already have a position in Lloyd's Engineering and today I booked my profits uh, after it was up 5%. JP Power upper circuit, KPI Green upper circuit, Prince Pipes. I think we had a discussion about Prince Pipes as well, that this could be the underdog. And this well was uh, an underdog. Uh, IFCI, right? We spoke about this upper circuit. MRPL, Rain Industries. Now, this is a trade that I gave you on YouTube. Uh, and uh, this has been working quite well, so that that is also a good one. Web of Global is a stock that we have we have created a position. It hasn't still moved, but uh, we've created a position in this as well. And you know there were a lot of other names which which kept on moving. So you know a lot of action from the watch list as usual. Now even if I show you the watch list that we have prepared in the past, so if you remember, if you're an old subscriber and if you're an old viewer, Career Point two consecutive upper circuits. We've seen that. We've seen what GR Infra has done. We've seen what ACC has done. We identified it here. ACC did really well. We've seen what SCI, we've seen what Jindal Saw has done. And uh, we've also spoken about Adani Vilma reacting from this demand. We've talked, spoken about Carisil. We've spoken about, uh, I think, Marksins. Uh, and there are so many stocks, you know, that, that have just done very, very good. Uh, and that also includes NBCC. We had a discussion about NBCC also as well. So lots of action from a lot of stocks. And with that being said, let's start with the watch list for uh, tomorrow. And I have a limited set of uh, stocks over here because I couldn't really see a lot of them, uh, you know, outperforming uh, the market. And I, I couldn't really find a lot of stocks that could basically, you know, uh, just, just move out of these ranges. So uh, I'll just quickly discuss them. So number one is CMS Info Systems. And this has been basing quite nicely, like a weekly chart would be a better chart to kind of focus on this. So this is such a wonderful weekly base volumes drying up. And, uh, you know, this is like a consecutive IPO base, the first IPO base, and this is the second base. And now this is the third and the final base, which I feel would be the most powerful. So keep this on radar. Then uh, we've got Sandur Manganese uh, <clears throat> and Iron Ore. And I think this is setting up extremely well. I think this could be uh, something that I'm going to be buying right at the open tomorrow. Uh, again, a disclaimer, uh, this is not a financial advice. I am a SEBI registered research analyst, but I'm not giving you any financial advice. And yeah, so Sandur Manganese is an interesting one. Arvind is another basing structure, similar, uh, you know, characteristics, volume dry up, basing around nicely. That also looks wonderful. Natco Pharma is another name from the pharma space, doing extremely well, uh, setting up in a nice basing formation. And now probably it's ready to spike up. Apollo Sinduri Hotels, again, uh, you know, creating like a nice rectangular base near its previous areas of demand. And I think uh, there could be lots of action, solid set of action uh, from Apollo Sinduri Hotels as well. Another name which I am already, you know, I have a position in this one and this is Dish TV. Now, Dish TV, have, like all of the media stocks, has probably rock bottom, uh, you know, at, a, at its rock bottom. And this base is really exciting to me. I think there could be solid action from Dish TV as well. Park Hotels, another name from the hotel space, which is, uh, you know, looking quite, quite interesting. Recent IPO name liquidating the lows over here and then now kind of moving with very low to tiny volumes. I think Park Hotels could be uh, a good one to keep a track on. Next up is Sequent Scientific. And again, uh, near these older areas of demand, the stock is basing out over here. I think it's going to be an interesting one to watch out. Uh, Sula. Uh, also, I think uh, would be something on my radar. Now, I'm, I'm a little tricky, like I, I feel Sula is going to be a little tricky, but there could be some action. Uh, Philotex, I think we had a discussion. This was a stock from our list yesterday. It did not move, but I think uh, the move is on the cards, uh, could move anytime. And then uh, last but not the least, we've got Orisa Minerals or OMDC. Um, you know, Orisa Minerals and Development Corporation. And I think uh, this is also uh, one from the list yesterday and it didn't quite move. So again, we've only got, let's say 10, 12 odd stocks. But, um, you know, uh, yesterday, I think uh, we had a wonderful, you know, you know, a lot of names doing a lot of nice things. So, yeah, I mean, um, you know, more or less, these are the names that we want to be, you know, keeping a track on. And yep, that's that's it from my side. I hope uh, you had uh, 
you know a wonderful trading day and uh, if you like such content make sure to subscribe and make sure to hit the like button and uh, comment if you like a particular part about my video and anything that i can probably add on to this thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you in the next one thank you all the best and take care